Welcome to another Excel Magic Trick. Hey, guess what? Excel is fun channel at YouTube, over 1,400 videos free. Hey, now there is a DVD, the Slain Excel Dragons DVD, available at MrExcel.com. 53 videos on a DVD. Here are uh, the links to get this. This is not at Amazon or anything like that. Uh, it won't be at Amazon until January 2012 because they don't accept new items like this in the middle of the book season. So for the time being, it's available at MrExcel.com. There, if you click on this, there's the actual DVD and uh, at MrExcel.com or the bundle pack. You can get the book and uh, the DVD. Now, uh, there you go. Finally, you can have a DVD of lots of Excel magic tricks. Now, let's look at a cool trick here uh, using the rank function. We have round one scores and round two, but guess what? And we can't put them together in a single column. And we need to rank. For example, 196 has to have uh, be first place, uh, second, etc. And these have to be part of the ranking also. So it looks like 177 should have about uh, fourth place. So how in the world are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use the rank function. Rank. And the number, that's the number to actually rank. So I'm going to click one cell to my left comma. Now the reference, REF, that's the values. Usually you simply highlight this and then you hit the F4 key if you're doing a single column. But watch this. And a bunch of other statistical functions will do this too, uh, where they have reference like this. You put it in parentheses, you type a comma, and get the second set of values. I'm going to hit F4 there. By doing that, it will consider it together a single reference. So parentheses and then comma between the different references. Finally, comma order. Uh, we want uh, descending, so I'm going to put a zero, close parentheses. Control enter. I'm going to double click and send this down. I'm going to copy uh, this formula right here. Actually, I could have double clicked and sent it down, copied, and then pasted it over here. Notice that cell reference one to the left works and we still have those locked. Wow, isn't that cool? So now we get, even though for whatever strange reason we have to keep these in two separate columns, we can still use the rank function. All right, uh, go out and get that slain XL Dragons DVD and see you next XL magic trick.